Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Happy 2021, and something I like to do at the beginning of every new year is go through the top 10 RC cars on the market today. So I like to break it down by 10 different categories, the 10 major categories within the RC hobby, and break down what I think is the best RC car within that category. So it may depend on whether you're looking for a speed car, or a monster truck, or a stadium truck, or a buggy, or whatever. I'm gonna go through all the different categories and then pick the best vehicle, tell you why I think that is the best vehicle to buy, the pros and cons as well as the price and then hopefully that can help you make a really good decision if you're looking to buy a new RC car in 2021 so I do have full reviews on most of these vehicles not all of them I don't own all of them but uh, most of them I do have in-depth reviews so you can go check those out as well and I also do have a lot of comparison uh, reviews on multiple vehicles within one category for example like lightweight monster truck or uh, heavyweight monster truck or whatever so um, check those out if you're interested so yeah let's kick it off if you're new to the RC hobby uh, and looking to try to you know see if you like this or pick out kind of a more budget-friendly type of vehicle the vehicle I recommend is the ECX amp and uh, the cool thing about this is they make uh, several different versions. They make a monster truck version, a buggy version, a stadium truck version as well. And it even comes as a kit. So if you like to put a RC car together yourself, kind of understand how it works or, you know, you enjoy building things, then uh, the kit version is also really nice to check out. So this sells for $140 within the United States. Uh, it is backed by Horizon Hobby, which is one of the largest manufacturers within the hobby industry. So it's easy to get parts. Although I think they do tend to try to recommend you go through your local hobby store so it may be a little bit harder to find stuff online but if you've got a hobby store nearby definitely you can find ECX amp parts and then the cool thing about this it is fairly inexpensive at $140 pulling off the body it's kind of like this nice classic two-wheel drive a layout um, rear motor uh, it can run on 2s uh, this one's been upgraded with some new electronics and stuff but you know it's a nice little durable vehicle uh, easy to drive I think it's well set up out of the box the suspension works pretty good you got oil filled shocks uh, nice steering um, electronics could use some improvement so the other good thing about this vehicle is it does have a nice upgrade path so if you want to change out the electronics change out the tires even upgrade the transmission or the steering there are a lot of aftermarket parts you can buy to kind of upgrade and build it as you grow so yeah in kind of the entry level category I do like the ECX amp uh, and this one in particular is the MT but they do make other versions and is my pick for best entry level vehicle When you're ready to step up to something a little bigger, a little faster, a little more capable, um, and you still want like the monster truck style, my pick is the Arma Granite 4x4 3S BLX. Now they do have the V3 version which came out a few months ago. Really, really good RC little monster truck, uh, 3S capable. Comes with a really nice radio, a powerful motor, and ESC. Again, sold by Horizon Hobby, so it is easy to get parts uh, no matter where you live. So excellent, excellent vehicle. I do have a full three-way comparison between this, the Team Associated Rival MT-10, and the Traxxas Haas, but in my opinion, this is the best little lightweight monster truck, uh, 3S capable, LiPo, powered monster truck on the market today uh, with four-wheel drive it is very capable it's hugely hugely durable this thing uh, goes really fast you can launch it in the air and it is very very durable doesn't really break very much uh, the other cool thing is if you want something a little bit bigger they do make the big rock crew cab they're both $320 the big rock crew cab is a little bit larger a little bit longer wheelbase a little bit wider so if you just kind of want the same type of vehicle just a little bit bigger size you do have that option as well but in the lightweight monster truck category, I do like the Arma Granite 4x4 3S BLX. It's kind of a mouthful, but it's an awesome little monster truck and one of my favorite bashers. Four wheel drive buggies are a fun class. If you're looking to do some serious racing, you want the fastest, most capable, best handling vehicles on the market. Four wheel drive buggy is where it's at. I'm a huge fan of four wheel drive buggies and probably do more reviews of these types of vehicles than anything else on the market. Uh, for 2021, my favorite is the X-Ray XB4. They make it in two different versions, a dirt version and a carpet version, depending on whether you're racing on higher traction surfaces like carpet or astroturf, or whether you're racing on traditional dirt. They do make a vehicle for you. A little bit more expensive at about $580 here in the United States, but uh, you get higher parts quality, higher quality overall. These are made in Europe, so 
the machining, the attention to detail, the plastic, everything is top notch, top of class, um, a little bit more, but I think you get what you pay for. So I do have reviews on all these other vehicles, the Team Associate B74.1, the TLR 22X4, huge fan of all these vehicles. They're all really, really good, but in my opinion, the X-Ray XB4 kind of has that nice blend of the speed of the TLR 22X4 and then the ease of driving and handling like the B74.1 has. So overall, I think this is the best vehicle. Top four wheel drive buggy on the market today for me is the X-Ray XB4. Short course trucks are a really neat category because they're very versatile vehicles. You can bash with them, take them out on the dirt, uh, do some serious driving, and then you can also race them. Uh, they're very durable, high performing vehicles, especially if you get a four wheel drive version um, that you can basically take them anywhere and uh, you know they got a lot of traction and they drive really well and so in the short course category I believe the best vehicle on the market today is still the Techno SCT4 10.3 it's been around for a few years but really in the four wheel drive class there are only a few vehicles that are competitive both on the racing side and also really good bashers and the Techno is probably the most durable of them all and also one of the highest performing short course trucks on the market. Other choices are like the Losi 10 SCTE, but uh, that one's, you know, still got the SAE screws, a little bit dated now, and I think the Techno has probably got the edge in durability. So as an example, this one here, we turned into a basher. Uh, it's pretty much based off like an eight scale buggy. It's got the huge shocks, it's got the aluminum chassis, the giant differentials and all steel drivetrain. So whether you want to bash or whether you want to race, I think the Techno SCT4 10.3 is the one to get. Still the best short course truck on the market today. Stadium truck is one of the classic classes within racing along with two wheel drive buggy and four wheel drive buggy. Uh, there are a few different vehicles on the market today. I'm quite familiar with the TLR 22T 4.0 and also the Team Associate T 6.1. I did just pick up a T 6.2 but unfortunately I uh, did not get a chance to build it and drive it at the time of this video. Uh, so for me at the start of 2021 the best stadium truck that I like the most is here the Schumacher Storm ST. It just came out in 2020 kind of in the middle of the year uh, was the first stadium truck that Schumacher had put out in a really really long time but super high quality kit it's based off the very successful Cougar laydown and so all the Cougar laydown parts like the carbon fiber chassis uh, the brass weights the titanium transmission parts will all fit and bolt right into this vehicle drives super super well probably geared a little more towards high traction surfaces like carpet uh, mine is set up for carpet because that's what the local track is here but I think even on dirt you know would be very very good um, a lot of option parts um, that Schumacher makes and a few third-party parts as well so definitely for a stadium truck this is the one to check out um, the T6.2 may be better but unfortunately at the time of this release we haven't been able to test drive that so for me best stadium truck on the market Schumacher Storm ST Two wheel drive buggies are definitely the most popular racing class in the world. The world championships uh, every two years is run in two wheel drive buggy and four wheel drive buggy. If you head down to your local track, chances are two wheel drive buggy is gonna be the most popular class. So definitely one of the best classes to get into uh, if you're looking to start racing. The most popular and the most dominant platform in two wheel drive buggy has been the Team Associate B6 series. The B6.2 is their latest version comes in two flavors the dirt version and the carpet astroturf version like we have here but uh yeah i've i've driven pretty much all the two-wheel drive buggies my favorite is the b6.2 uh, you're going to have very nice part support a lot of team drivers out there a lot of setup sheets uh, easy to find parts and then the performance to match in addition to that, you know, the price is fairly inexpensive at about $330. So uh, my pick in the two-wheel drive buggy class, I would go with the Team Associate B6.2. Pick the version that matches the surface uh, you're running on, whether it's dirt or carpet, and I think you'll be super happy. Even the stock setups tend to be really, really good. Um, in the two-wheel drive class, I do like the Team Associate B6.2. Crawlers is a huge segment of RC. I had the fortune of being able to own several different crawlers. Uh, my pick for best crawler on the market today is the TRX4. There are other vehicles out there like the Red Cat Gen 8, 
the Enduro by Element RC, as well as the Axial SCX-10 III, which I also own. But my pick is still the TRX-4, the tried and true uh, high-performing vehicle. Uh, comes in a lot of different versions, which is really, really nice. You can get something like a basic sport version. You can get a chassis kit if you like to build it yourself. You can get the 6x6 version if you want six-wheel drive. A lot of different versions, a lot of different options. And the great thing is it's actually pretty reasonably priced. Traxxas is known for having super high quality parts, uh, really nice parts support as well. If you want to call them up, you have issues. Uh, they are really good about supporting their product. I had, I had an issue with the motor on mine. This is the chassis kit and the motor out of the box. Uh, had the wires desoldered. They just sent me another one, no problem. So yeah, in the crawler class, I do like the TRX4. The Axial SCX-10 III is also really, really good and probably even more popular than the TRX-4, but the TRX-4 has that perfect combination of performance. It's got the portal axles, uh, good part support, really well priced, and then uh, just a good vehicle overall. So in the crawler category, I do like the TRX-4 from Traxxas. So the category that Arma pretty much dominates is the speed category. If you want to go 80 miles per hour out of the box, if you want to hit over 100 miles per hour with some crazy land speed record type things, I think Arma is the one to go with. Now they do make three different what they call on-road vehicles. They make the infraction, they make the limitless, and the felony as well. Um, they're on the V2 versions on the infraction and the limitless. So my pick for best speed vehicle is the Arma. I would go with the infraction V2. It does have the handbrake um, a little bit lighter weight body it does have kind of the matched four wheels that the uh, felony does not have kind of a weakness of the felony so I would personally like the infraction the best but any of these three vehicles they're all pretty much like sister vehicles very very similar depending on whether you want the roller kit like the limitless or you want kind of the better looking body and the larger wheels of the felony you can go with that but um, yeah in the speed class you definitely want to pick up an Arma. The X01, nah, not quite so good. Um, Arma pretty much kicks butt in this, and I'm looking forward to see what they have in 2021. But at the beginning of this year, I would go with the Infraction. Infraction V2, um, just an awesome vehicle. 80 miles per hour, out of the box. I mean, that's just ridiculous. In the heavyweight monster truck division, we've got a lot of cool vehicles out there. You've got the E Revo 2.0, you've got like the Red Cat Kaiju, you got a couple of vehicles from Team Corrale like the Kronos. Um, but the tried and true winner, the king of the 6S monster truck class, has always been the Arma Creighton. Uh, they do have this one, the EXB version, their Extreme Basher version, like 7075 aluminum throughout, uh, redesigned shocks, huge aluminum shocks, uh, really nice tires. Uh, so in the 6S heavyweight monster truck category, the king of the hill is still the Arma Creighton. Very, very durable as compared to those other vehicles. The e Revo, everyone knows, has a couple little plastic parts that break. Team Corrale stuff, they are on their V2 version. I do think they are, have been improved, but probably not quite up to Creighton level. And the Red Cat Kaiju is a little bit smaller, not really a true 1 8 scale monster truck. That's what they like to claim, but uh, runs a little bit hot on 6S and quite a bit smaller than this vehicle. So in the heavyweight monster truck category, I would go with the Armored Crane 6S. The EXB version is their you know, top of the line premium version, but they also make an RTR V5 version if you want something a little more reasonably priced uh, with RTR electronics. So heavyweight monster truck, Crane 6S. And finally, in the large scale category, we do have a lot of cool monster trucks out there. We've got things from low seed like the DBXLE, which I guess is a desert buggy technically. Uh, we do have things from Arma like the Crane 8S and the Outcast 8S. Really nice vehicles, really good handling. Maybe not quite as good in the durability category. I think the well-regarded king of the 8S class is the X-Max. It's been out for a few years now, so getting a little bit longer than the tooth, but still probably the most durable. Uh, tends to break the least. Uh, it's still 8S power, a lot of good part support, and then it's reasonably priced. It's one of the cheapest ones at $900. So in the large scale category, I would still go with the X-Max. Um, I don't own one, but I do plan to pick one up as soon as possible. Um, it is a beast. Go check out other YouTube channels and you will find that everyone loves the X-Max. Uh, it is a monster of a monster truck and king of the large scales in my opinion. So hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Uh, look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.